Ladies and gentlemen, Pandana here with a very warm welcome to Manor Lords, an eagerly awaited title that has been seven years in the making by Greg, the sole developer. Yes, he's had help since then with Hooded Horse on board as well, and many thanks to both Greg and Hooded Horse for the key so that I could try this out a bit early, which is greatly appreciated because I'm actually going on holiday on the 18th so it's nice to be able to play this before then get a video out and prepare a proper review which will go up on the embargo day welcome one and all to this video which is going to be my first impressions and you're going to get pretty much an unfiltered video because i've had a curry and some wine so this should be quite entertaining for you all don't drink alcohol kids it's bad for you Let's just check the settings and make sure there's nothing we need to change. Literally just booted up for the first time and I thought, I'd rather give my unfiltered impressions, get it out there, it's done, and then we'll see how everything runs. Obviously, I've been watching this game for a very long time, very excited about it. I love city builders like this. The fact it's got sort of RTS elements is also appreciated. And just check the audio because you do worry sometimes about these games having copyrighted stuff but there's no switch off copyrighted music or anything so i think we're okay oh we'll save options very nice i appreciate that okay so new game we start from scratch we get to choose our mayor our leader i'm liking the old guy with a mustache i must admit I think we go with that. I'm I'm enjoying that. That's not my name. That is my name. Bandana. Coat of arms. I don't like that picture. Ooh. I appreciate the fact that you can have lots of images on there. I don't know what I fancy. Uh, uh, hmm. Too many choices for this time of the evening. Uh, let's go with this one. The cross isn't doing it for me. I kind of like the idea of a cross, but that one's not doing it. Maybe that one. I think I like that one. Primary color. Can we have something ridiculous? Is there a nice... It's a very boring orange. Mediocre pink. It's not... They're not going to give us any crazy colors. Oh, there's a nice orange. That'll do. Okay. That I can get on board with. And then... We can choose a background for it as well. Talk about customization options. Some of these are too big, but oh, you can change it. There we go. Look, you can change the size and the angle as well. Oh, we can have some fun with this. Okay. Can I make a, a big one of these? Okay, maybe not that big. There we go. Oh, it's kind of behind now. Let me make it very small. I'm going to have a few of them. Secondary color. Green? Blue. Oh, that looks good. Blue and orange, yeah. Good contrast. The symbol... Is that in the front? Got anything dog related or wolf related? I don't want to spend too long on this for this video. Uh, I can't see a wolf. Greg, we need a wolf adding. A dog of some kind. Can we add Nova?
<laughs> pair of pantaloons. <laughs> A headless monkey. Oh, I guess we go British then. Go with a lion. Of some description, I guess. Is that like some kind of squirrel? This looks wrong. Ah, uh, oh, let's go with the dragon. Color of the dragon. Black? Oh, it doesn't show up very well. Um, actually, I think white shows up best there. Okay. Field B is... That one. I could actually get on board with an axe there. Let's leave that. Uh, the background will be just white. Field C. I don't like that with the cross in it. And then field D. I don't know why the castle has a green. It's not a good colour for a castle. I actually quite like the castle, but I think it looks better with the black and then it just looks like shadow. But there is a snail there, which amuses me. Let's go with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, so scenario templates. Rise to prosperity, which is fulfill the requirements of your citizens, plan and rule your medieval town. As you see fit without worrying about combat. Reach large town settlement level. After that, you may choose to continue in the endless mode. Restoring the peace, two territories in north claimed by illegitimate baron whose castle is located off map. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace, but when ready, challenge the Baron for the Northern Territories. Conquer every region, and on the edge, grow your city, raise a force as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements. Okay, that's quite nice. So, you get a choice of no combat. Some combat at your own pace. Or aggression, straight away. I think we go with the middle one. That gives us a bit of everything. I think it's also nice you get lots of options for the game mode. You can have relaxing, default, or challenging. And that's how aggressive the AI is. We'll go with default. It's the early access map, which is fine. Let's go. I, I vaguely remember the demo, uh, which was a lot of fun. It is a very pretty game, isn't it? And look at how smooth it is. Smooth. Oh, wow. Okay. This view shows you which regions are under whose control. And compress claims to other regions when you gain enough influence. Okay. And it's one big map as well with the regions. I like this. A new message. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. 
I'll unite these lands under my rule. This is my town, right? Where the heck is the main... Oh, there we go. Homeless people's tents. Okay. So. I guess we need a logging camp, obviously. Logging, woodcutters. Saw pit. Wait, hang on. Oh, they make firewood. Okay. I'm assuming there isn't a tutorial, or it's on the other mission. No, there's a tutorial here, I guess. I guess we'll just build one over here for now. I don't suppose it matters too much. <laughs> Where the heck's the roads? Residential, logistics, logistics is roads. Not here apparently. Because there's the bottom of, the button at the bottom that says road. That works too. Okay. I need fuel as well, so might as well build a woodcutter's lodge. Which can go down over here. We need food. I guess you can put a hunting camp down. That's an easy one, right? <coughs> Wild animals are over there. So if I build this... Do I have to be... Oh! Overlaps animal habitat will cause migration. So you can't put it on the top of it. That's fine. Okay. Another Exposed goods. I need to build a storehouse. And I need to build a pantry. Logistics. Storehouse. Okay. Then comes an interesting question is... How do I rotate buildings? Oh, there we go. Click and press. Okay. And then a granary, which is probably an important thing to put down. There we go. Then we need some houses as well. Residential, so... Burgage plot provides living space for a single family. A well for drinking water. Uses underground water. That's probably important. Okay, we can see where the water is. That's visible there. Okay. Reasonably straightforward. Let's stick down a few houses, shall we? Okay, Q and E switch through these. Just as an interesting point to note. Now you had to draw these, if I remember correctly. Much enough goods, okay. So I need to make timber. Well, that's not finished yet, that's why. Priority, high. That's finished. Assign a family to the hunting camp. That seems important. How many families do I have? Five level one families. Okay. A new message. Heard you are now 
I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. And people not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread. I have no idea who you are, but okay. I'll take you at your word for now. Zoom out and have a look. So that... It doesn't say anyone owns these lands. And that one is owned by this person. These ones are all unoccupied. So I guess technically I also need to spread. Berry deposit. Oh, it's a rich deposit. It's got a crown on it. So what I should actually be doing is building... There was a berry thing somewhere. There it is. A forager hut. So I need to be built near it, or...? Not enough goods. It's worth putting two people on the logging camp because we need logs. That's quite important. We can't build anything else. I also need... Stable space, which I can't afford either. I need this to be up and running. I must have one down already. I do. I have one hitching post, and I have supplies there. There we go. These guys are off. Where's my mare? If I remember correctly, there we go. Oh, it's just any old default person at the moment, but uh, can actually have a wander around your village. And it's quite impressive, really. I mean, the details are quite nice. Oh, a bit of stuttering. It is early access, I won't hold it against it. It's dragging logs about. Got to go and cut it. There's not a reasonable amount of detail on the ground. Yeah, a little bit laggy when you're down here at the moment. A little bit of stuttering. Computer's hot, but not very hot. It's obviously not too horrendous on the old uh, graphics card and CPU. Certainly been hotter in other games. So... You have to actually assign people to the storehouse. Awkward. I don't really want to do that. I don't have enough families to do that, to be fair. Hopefully they are finding food. Eighteen food of bread currently. 20 firewood. 2 timber, 10 stone, 10 tools. Got some timber again. How much is a house? 2. And 10 stone. I literally only have 10 stone, so I need to also mine stone. A stone cutter camp. There you go. Oh, just saved and freaked out slightly. That's because when it's saved... I was pressing forward or something. Interesting. Trade point. Cheap goods for import. It's work in progress. Anyhow. Mining camp. Do I have to build it 
next to this or will they go near it? Does it have to be built on it is the question. I'm not sure you have to build it in there or not, but I'm going to do that. Let's build a road around that building to that. Okay, that works. Do that one working there. They're building the granary, which is fine. We have managed to collect four meat, so we are making food, so that's good. Stone over there. What is this? Oh, it's iron. Shit. Well. That was stupid then. The stone's over there. Why is that highlighted when I select that? That's a mining pit. That's for iron ore. Never mind. Do I need to build that on it or? The only thing I'm not sure about. Let's try that, and then I'm going to build a road to the stone, just to see. Okay, the stone's there, that's clay. Hope I build it to the right place, wouldn't it? We'll see how that pans out. I'm not sure if that'll work. I'm going to try. Runner is finished, but again, it needs people to work on it. What else have we got then? So we've got wild animals, which we are slowly killing. Seasonal berry deposits. I suppose we should try and get some of that as well. I really need to put some houses down, don't I? Is the other thing. How do we increase families? There's two chill... Oh, there's... Is that eight men and two women? I'm assuming. So we're not going to get a lot of children out of them, does it? No population growth. Definitely need more stone. There we go, we've got a well down, so at least we can have some water now. And people won't die of thirst. Population growth as well as morale. Homeless minus four. Well yeah. There is there is a small issue of that. But I don't think there's any There's a tavern. Market Wooden church. Coarse pit. Not all deserve to be buried in consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of any raider corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. All right then. Farming. We got fields. We got farmhouse. We got pastures. We got sheep farm. A windmill and a communal oven. Fair enough. Industry. A bloomery for turning iron ore into iron slabs. Iron slabs into tools at the smithy. Clay furnace for clay into clay tiles. Malt house. Barley to produce malt. Tannery. Hides to produce leather. Wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. 
and berries to make dyes. Trade, a trading post, and a livestock trading post. A settler's camp, which is what we've got there. And then a manor, which is uh, for the future. And then a shrine and a raised shrubbery. Shrubbery, eh? There's a Monty Python joke in there somewhere. Okay, so they are building that as well. Good. The resources are there. And that is still under construction. I think we're looking pretty good at the moment. If we get that built, we can send one family to do that. And then we've got four families doing something. And then the last family, I guess, is working. Assigned families will focus on the job. Three. Two will be unassigned and focus on construction. Yep. And then we can worry about building some living quarters and trying to get the approval rating up. Makes sense to me anyway. There are little tutorials popping up. While human workforce has to be assigned, by default livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have construction going on. That's fair. In almost all cases, resources in Manor Lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed. Fair warning. Kind of waiting for that to be built. But I think that... Well, that's finished the woodcutter's lodge. We do need to do that, but at the moment we've got firewood and it's not going down, so I'm not going to worry about it. We've got 11 timber on the go. Let's... We've got people... Yeah, those guys are on the way to uh, do that. They've got a long walk, haven't they? Shall we... Shall we... Uh... Some workpurses allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, putting a handcart off-road is extremely slow. Make sure to connect your buildings. Yep. Okay. What I was thinking of doing was uh, drawing a road all the way over here. And that way they can kind of cross straight over there rather than going the long way around because at the moment they're going all the way around here I appreciate the fact they've actually got a makeshift sort of shovel thing going on that's some attention to detail there they're going to flatten the ground and they've got shovels What are these guys up to? Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. They actually talk to you. I'm quite impressed. I wasn't expecting that. You can see who they are. What's the name of our oxen? Where's the oxen at? There. What's your name? Erhart. Herman and Erhart. Oh no, Herman Herman is the Herman is the ox. Erhart is the uh, person guiding the ox. I feel like their names are the wrong way around. I don't know why. Hopefully the stormcutters will go all the way over there. Rather than me have to move it. But it's an experiment to see how they perform and where they'll go to. I feel like I've got reasonable amounts of timber at the moment. I'm tempted to drop the numbers on there shortly.
I really do appreciate the attention to detail on all this stuff. I'm actually bothering to build it. I like that. So they're going to start mining over there, hopefully. Yeah, he's immediately going... There you go, stone cutters gathering. Fantastic. So we can reduce that by one now, because I think we've got enough of that. And that means we've still got two builders. I kind of want to put one on that, though. Well, we don't need to yet, actually. Let's... Let's build some houses. Are you allowed to build? Didn't that say... Hang on. Oh no, they are only... I thought that cost stone as well. What was I looking at before? I thought it said they cost stone. That's alright then. Is that just made the extra size or? That's the additional thing they can have out the back, because they can all grow like a vegetable plot or something, can't they? If I remember correctly. So I guess that's what that is. But you can't have... They can only have one. Because I'm making that very big. And it's not getting... Like, you can't have two of them or anything. Fine. So we'll go with... Let's go with that. Actually... How many can we have there? Five! There we go. Perfect. Because there's five families. Splendid. Every region in Manor Lords has its strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. Uh, interesting point. So, how's my... Oh! Everything looks green. So, I'm going to assume that I have good fertility everywhere there is green. Flax fertility... Oh, it's different depending on the... So Emma Fertility is good. Flax Fertility is good in some places. Barley Fertility is good in very few places. Here and here. On over here as well. Rye is great everywhere. Smell is work in progress. Fire Hazard is work in progress. That's about plotting fields. Fields of Manor Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take a long time to plough by hand. For a starting village, try a field side of about one Morgan. Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock the heavy plough upgrade, which allows ploughing much bigger fields far more efficiently utilising oxen. Also remember to check the ground fertility. Okay. Which leads me to another interesting point, doesn't it? Which is research. Which is... So that's roads. Construction. Army. Create new units. Because we're not doing that at the moment. The map is... well, it's that. When you zoom out. Where is technology at? Maybe I can't access it yet.
It's going to be in a completely different place. Maybe you have to build something related to... Maybe you have to build the manor or something before we start going down that route. Corpse pit. Oh, here we go. Burgage plot. Homeless will move in the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click the building to see their residential requirements. Water access completed. Church level, not so much. Fuel stall supply. Oh, oh. Okay, I need to put a market down. Can I not build its extension thing? I can there, that's the option. So, choice is a vegetable garden. Allows growing vegetables, required plowing and harvesting labor. Yields depend on the plot size. Okay, so the bigger it is, the more vegetables you get. You can have a chicken coop. Which provides eggs. Or you can have a goat shed. Which provides hides. Or you can have an apple orchard. Development branch missing. And then you can have a bakery extension. Blacksmith's workshop. Brewery extension. Everything's getting soaked because it's in this pile here. So if I put... A family on that. Will they move everything? I don't know. Is the answer. Anyhow, back to this. Bakery. Blacksmith. Brewery. Joiners. Cobblers. Tailors. Armourers. And Boer's Workshop. That's pretty cool. So that means that you can have... Converts all inhabitants to artisans. And they have like another skill. Oh, so they can't do other jobs though. So it's like you're upgrading the family to be a specialist in a particular thing. Which I guess relates to this here. We've now got 11 people. We've got another lady has joined. Okay. I've been recording for 40 minutes. I probably should have put this on fast forward. Now, are you off to collect wood or are you off to collect stone the amount of stone is going up and you're getting wood and the stone is stored there and they do carry stone themselves okay good four families still homeless but we're working on that I think they are moving things, maybe. Yeah, they are. They're moving things to the store now. That's good. Our bread is getting very wet, unfortunately. It is what it is, but I don't have a spare family to help with that. I don't have a family on the uh, firewood either. Yeah, I need to build the market area. Just adding to the list. i put a marketplace here for these things. Does it need to be big or? I 
35 market stalls. 36 market Wow. That's a lot of market stalls. Okay. That feels like an excessive amount. 18 market stalls as an option. There we go. Mind you, there's lots of market stalls in... Maybe I should just build a bigger one. A well supplied marketplace is a lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space in the market. I mean, there can be any size, I guess. Let's uh, make it bigger. And the nice thing is that uh, we can make it as big as we want. I'm going to make it a weird size, just because I can. We can build the houses around it, can't we? If we build road... ...along it. No. There you go. And then road along this way. There we go. Hmm. Well, some things are going to be weirdly shaped. It is a uh, natural town rather than uh, a, a very symmetrical town, of course. So it's not going to look perfect. There we go. Two families have houses now. At least our approval has stabilised. I think we've got food coming in. We've got wood coming in. I don't want to take people out of the storehouse and move them elsewhere. What is he putting in there? I think he's taking firewood around the place. Maybe he's going to take it to the... Where, where are you taking the firewood? I guess maybe everything needs firewood to run, including this. Where is he going? Or maybe he's just going to sell it at the marketplace. A firewood stall. He, they're literally going to sell them. Okay, fine. Okay. I mean, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. And this is the firewood stall. That's meat. That's firewood. And that's a food stall. So that's the meat. Okay. That is a lot of attention to detail for someone to carry the meat from where they were to the stall and hang it up. I'm, I'm quite impressed by that. And I also like the fact that there's puddles after it's rained. I remember that from the demo we had a very long time ago now, that demo. In fact... Was that demo at the start of last year? I can't even remember when that demo was now, but it feels like an absolute age ago. I am enjoying it so far, though. It is very pretty. And the attention to detail, I... Summer's coming soon, and soon the it's more than I expected, like people taking bits of food to hang up at the uh, at the market stalls and stuff. That it's not. I don't really expect that. Nice music as well. 
flashbacks to uh, Stronghold Definitive Edition. So is the is the other player expanding the AI? No, they've just got the two. Maybe they never expand. But then it said there were going to be bandits around the place, so I need to be wary of that, I guess. Number of months before supplies run out. Why do I, have to carry this alone? I think that's telling me I need to get more firewood on the go. I don't actually have anyone working there currently. I kind of wanted to finish these. There are more people coming, look. Another man has arrived. Family member joins one of the settlers. Oh, there we go. We got food and f fuel now. No clothing at this point. Eh? You have food and fuel. You apparently don't. Surely that's in range. Maybe it's just buggy. Pretty sure it's just buggy. I guess we could have them build stuff out the back. You can have a... Oh, it costs money. Well, I don't have any money. I've only got 50. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> costs money to build those. Okay. Don't want to do that at the minute then. Even the farm? Yeah, 15. Well, I have to get a tax policy and stuff on the go before I can do that. Let's speed things up a bit. We need to start worrying about getting everything built. You can add another ox. I can order a new horse. Upgrade to a small stable. Plenty of upgrade options. 14 people now. Still five families though. Settlement level increased. New message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. I will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all people in the settlement as it grows, either making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form a militia. So if I do that, I can now form a militia. So I've got 10 recruits. I've got spears and shields. So technically you need to make these guys who uh, have spears and shields, yeah? Male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will try to find their required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type and the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villager's residential level. After bringing all necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then when you're able to rally your unit. Okay. So I can have ten of them. I've only got ten men apparently. Yeah. 
So I can have some soldiers. Let's build some more houses just to say we've done it. Oh, what's the. Oh! Hang on a minute. Look at that one. It's so big, it's got an additional building. That's different. Looks like an additional house in it. Oh. Wait, is that... Can I make more like that? I can have two like that. Okay, that's interesting. What about if I do this? Only that one gets it. That would be one, two big ones. Kind of leaning towards try. Okay, let's try that. I'm just curious what I can build here. At least we can have some more families then. We need to improve our approval rating. I think we need to... I'm going to take the family... Fifteen. It's raining again, so the puddles are back. Nice rain sound effects. Do the buildings look wet? Not particularly. Nice thatch roofs, though. Look at that. I mean, it's just a texture, I guess, but it's a nice texture. Wonder what. I can't even remember what engine this is made in, to be honest, but it is very nice. Uh, hmm. Let's technically speed things up again. I can't quite afford a church yet because we need to build a salt pit. But we need more families first. I've only got five. I've got five plus. Oh, that's the families in buildings. I guess we just need to wait till we attract more people. I'm just conscious of the fact that I want to get more people in here, but I need a family on building duty. Hmm. 32 st I could probably take them off stone for the minute, couldn't I? Let's do that. I've got 32 stone. I don't need any more stone. Let's put one on that and let's speed things up a bit. This will keep things rolling. I want you to know the oxen point. Logistics. If that's free, I think it's worth building one. Because if I get a free ox instead of having to pay for another one, that's at the moment beneficial. May currently. We are now getting firewood, which was important. Yeah, we're up to 31 already. Wow, that is fast. I think early on, you've got to be not afraid to move your families about. I think that's uh, 
important to do now at 51 percent which means we'll now get families moving in which is good happy days Oh, it's gone down to 48. Homelessness? Three? Who the heck's homeless? We've only got five families and I've got more than five houses. Lies. Although, that said, I guess... What was that about bandits? Resources stolen by nearby bandits. Nine food. Sons of bitches. Where are these bandits at? I'm going to bitch slap. Do we know where they are? I guess technically not. Claim with influence. Oh, there's the other person. The outlaws. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, oh, yet another dog has crawled here. Can't really interact with him. What about him? Need silver or war surprise. I don't even know there's still some of my food. Speaking of food, that is down to 9 or 20. I think we need to build a... Forager hut over here. And then we're going to switch these guys to do some foraging because I don't want to run out of meat and I'd rather they repopulated. I'm assuming you need to leave them for a while to repopulate. I guess we also need to think about farming eventually, but with only five families, I don't feel that's appropriate. building this in a moment. Oh, there we go. That's finished. I think I have to buy an ox regardless. This is a stable space zero of one. Animals may run away if not enough space is provided. I only have 50 silver. I don't want to really buy any more. Fuel's looking good. But I'm conscious that fuel's a bit of a funny thing. Still only got that many families. This is nearly finished. I'm really curious what else I can build here, because it looks like I can build two things. Instead of just one. I'm not sure if it's like a similar thing, or just completely different. Maybe this is how you get the artisan thing? I'm not sure. We are about to find out. Any second. So. We can expand the living place. Doubles the maximum family count for this plot. Or we can... That's upgrade to level 2. They all have that. So because it's a big size. We could give it another expanded living space. Okay. 
Okay, so there's no benefit to doing that other than you're going to expand the living place and have two houses on it, effectively. That's fine. It's good to know. I wasn't sure what that would entail, but that's fine. We need to kind of collect taxes, because currently we have no income. Well, I think to do that, we need to build the manor house. So we need to start making wood as well. Or like proper wooden planks. We're at 50%. We've still not got any extra families though. Which isn't ideal. Is there a way to see if someone is living in a house? Well these ones are definitely people living there because they've got two swords and two shields. And these ones don't have anything so... That suggests to me that it's just these ones are inhabited. You must have from disease may stop working. Access to herbs might be in their recovery. Okay. We are running out of bread. We got meat still. That is being built now. I'd like another family to turn up because then I can safely have something else running. I kind of want to try and sell stone, maybe? If I could trade stone, that might be beneficial and give us a bit of coin let's set up a trading post right there kind of in the middle isn't it feels like a good place for it what is that that's clay so we've got berries we've got clay we've got wild animals which we need to let recover a bit soon over here we've got stone clay iron rich deposit of wild animals and some standard berries we've got iron none of them have anything quote unquote special I guess that's because this is just the default base map of this game that is a bandit camp that's the first one I've seen. That's actually literally a little camp symbol. That's the only one, actually. I'm still annoyed they stole my food, to be honest. I'm still on 9 at the moment of 20. That's nearly finished. How can we have... Oh, that's previous, sorry, homelessness minus three. I was confused. Okay. So we're on 50%. I guess I need a church to try and keep them happier. So if I have to put a family in the church to work that, that's a problem. I need to make wood logs, or make wood logs into planks even. So, that's finished. Okay, Forager's Hut is finished. So, what I'm going to do is say, you can be reduced. And we're going to send you there instead. And Oh, it's not finished. There we go. Now it's finished. Get the Forager Hut on the go. Add a herb garden to it. What? Oh, that's cool. So you can throw herbs at the forager hut. Good to know. I think I should have read read the manual. I don't even know if there is a manual, to be fair. We're getting there, though. We, we kind of understand what's going on. We need more families. Need more families. I've got loads of fuel, firewood... I want firewood. I want a lot of firewood because when winter comes around, they're going to burn through it really quickly. 
I'm hoping that this regenerates. Yeah, it already has like 11 or 20. So while they're not getting food from there, that's improving that. This is seasonal, but that's okay. That'd be enough at the moment. We've got plenty of timber. Please give me another family. I'm at 52%. I deserve a family. Low population growth. Neutral approval. I need to build a church to improve people's happiness. Which means I need to build a saw pit. So let's get that on the go. Build the saw pit next, because we they're not producing anything anyway. And then we can assign the builders to that. And at least that means we've got a few planks. And once we get a few planks, we can build the church. The church needs 20 planks. Okay, so maybe more than a few. I'm just looking at the UI while we're waiting for other stuff and just thinking to myself, do I like the UI? I kind of like this, but it jumps around a little bit. But I like the fact it's there. There's, an, I can't see a way to keep it open permanently, which I wish there was an option. Or if I can move it across the side of the screen or something. I like the fact it's there. But I also wish I could uh, keep it up permanently, potentially, and that it didn't jump, like, as soon as you open it, it scrolls all the way to the bottom. I just like that. F trading post is finished. There we go. <laughs> you must assign a family to this. <laughs> Everything needs a family. Advanced. Trade. Desired surplus locked because the trade rule is set to no trade. Oh! <laughs> I'm sat thinking where the tech tree is. Well, just click on the middle. There you go. Specialize your region. After you reach the next settlement level, you'll be granted the development point to spend and unlock development branches and make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to raise your administration level by building administration buildings like the manor. Okay. Current settlement, small village. Next settlement, medium village. Doubles capacity of all berry deposits. Allows you to collect honey. Trapping enables hunters to skillfully lay traps on the forest, which give a passive income of meat. Okay. That allows you to get the orchards. Okay. Sheep breeding. Heavy plow. An add-on allowing the oxen to plow fields. Foreign supplies. New building. Firewood cart. Permanent market store, which provides passive income of firewood. As long as the region has enough regional wealth, the region does not pay the transport fee. Must be placed on the marketplace. Food cart. Okay. Trade logistics. Establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. And down here we have basic armor making. Enables blacksmiths to craft helmets. After unlocking advanced armor making and master armor making, enables production of male armor and plate armor. Converts all inhabitants, converts all inhabitants to artisans, locking them from being assigned to other jobs. I guess that's when you build the armorer's workshop on the house. And charcoal burning. Charcoal kilns convert one firewood into two charcoal. 
making refueling twice as efficient. Hmm. I don't know what the best thing is to get early on, to be honest. Locked in early access, whatever that is. Advanced beekeeping is there to collect wax. Advanced skinning doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from goat pens. Up here we've got rye cultivation. Unlocks rye crop fields similar to wheat. Rye can produce processed into flour. Okay. Irrigation? Yeah. Dramatically reduces the amount of damage caused by droughts. Fertilization? Fence up. Allows us to allows to use fallow field as a pasture while rapidly restores lost fertility. Okay. So basically this is something you do in real life as well is where you a field that's been farmed a lot and has no necessarily not maybe not no but not a lot of nutrients in the soil you turn it into a pasture and have the animals crap on it for a year or however long and then they trample it into the dirt as well and you get fertile soil again it's like manuring the soil but pre-done you know rather than you having to fertilize it and then the bakeries a bakery extension which is the other thing produces bed from flour and then down here there's only one additional unlock which is better deals removes tar tariff of foreign imports let's have a look at the policies Oh, wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yield from crops. Eee, don't do that here. We don't have a rich deposit. Strict fasting. Citizens skip every fifth meal, reducing food consumption. Locked, locked. Lock. That's locked, but it is. it has an icon. Oh, all of these are locked. So we have those two, and then everything else is locked, even though they have icons. Okay, that's fine. No production. Oh, there's nothing there yet. Okay. I can change the name. I guess we could choose an upgrade then. I guess doubles the capacity of old buried deposits. Sounds really helpful, to be honest. So I'm going to do that one. Yeah, that's gone from 125 to 256. That'll do. I'll take it. I think that's a big improvement. I really need to improve my population. Did we finish this? We did. So let's do this. We're not building anything right now. So... We've got 28 timber. Let's... Take them off there. We've got enough wood for now. I'm not worried about that. So let's... One can handle the ox. One is going to sort out the saw pit. And we need to make a bunch of planks. And then we can build a church, which is hopefully going to make people happier. And the church can be upgraded, but you've got to be careful with the church because... There's a bug, and I don't know if it's been patched, that the Greg, the guy who makes the game, warned everyone about. Which is that the grave digger, <laughs> the person who handles the grave digging and everything, I believe it is, keeps stealing stone. So you have to sack him before you do the upgrade, or the upgrade never works. I know he wanted to patch it, but uh, I don't know if they've done it yet. Do we have some? Yeah, five planks. There we go. So we need 20, I think. Yeah, 20. 20 of that. 10 stone. Yeah, no bother. How big a placement does it? Oh, big placement. Okay. Um... Guess we build it here somewhere. 
Is that going to be... It doesn't tell you if it's in range of all of the buildings or the houses, but surely that's going to be pretty good there. We'll assume it is. Generic storage full. It's not full. Oh, it might have been on about the logging camp storage. Yeah, it is. It's just on about the generic storage. Unless it means that, but that's the log storage. It needs logs to turn into... I don't know. Construction reserve. Oh, how many do you want to keep in reserve? Oh. Let's assume 20? On, 20 seems reasonable. No point in building that, I don't have any ale. That'll keep people happier as well, so I should do that next, shouldn't I? They all like the booze. Come on. A new family moved in. Awesome. Finally. Right, we've got 20 now, so let's build a church. We'll leave those two families to build that. Well, 115 firewood. Apparently I've only got two months worth of food. The berries aren't going very well, so let's terminate that and let's start getting some meat again with one of the families that's not an urgent build thing so the foragers are slow I guess can we zoom in on these berry bushes I mean I guess they do look like raspberries or something I think maybe I should build a road to them to improve the speed that they're walking back and forth. Why do I have to carry this alone? Tempted to put another family on Let's put another family on that for the time being. Level two or higher. Poems not met. I guess I need the church at least and then a clothing stall. I mean they're building that now, so it's fine. Just trying to get my food up a bit. Berries are starting to come in now. So that's good. It's gone up to three months. Winter is bad, and the berries need to be... We need to get all the berries before winter. We are slowly reducing it. I assume the meat we can just keep hunting. So... Don't need to worry about that. Let me speed things up again. One hour twenty, a little bit of slow progress, really. I don't know if that's just the fact I don't know what I'm doing yet, or it is just a slow game and I should have it running faster than I do. Both are a distinct possibility. Well, 
Looking good so far, though. Bander camp was sighted. Hang on, hang on. It slowed down for me. That's good. So, a new bandit camp? Oh, yeah, there's one there now, look. Oh, whoa. I managed to zoom in at the top of them. I was trying to zoom in down here. I think that's because it's saved at the same time. Oh. Oh, yeah. Loads of outlaws in there, look. Okay. Okay, so I will have to go and attack them eventually. Still six families, 18 people. Building my church now. Speaking of the military. Oh, that's alright, it's gone up to 12 automatically. Okay. Not storing anything in the granary because I'm not putting anything in there. Lots of berries coming in, which is good. There we go, the church is complete. We're now in September and autumn. Uh, we can upgrade that to a small stone church, which would require different resources. I have to actually have a family running it, but church level is okay, so they've ticked the box for church. I guess that's. Assign a family? I'm not sure. Church bell sound. I've got an achievement for doing that. First one's the best. Personal preference. Which do you like best of the bell sounds? Hmm. I do like the rain and the fact it makes puddles. It actually makes the roofs wet look. Can you see they've got like a wet tint on them, like the shininess. I'm trying to decide if you can see that on the thatch roofs, I'm not convinced. What about the church? I think that counts as slightly shiny, but then maybe it's always like that. I think they look wet. We'll see what happens when it dries out. That definitely looks wet, that one though. Look at the shining on it. Surely it's supposed to look like water. Oh, I've got seven families now. Happy days. Okay. Well, we've got loads of food coming in. We've got loads of berries. We want to collect all those ASAP, don't we? 88 left. It's not September now. I mean, we could add another one in there. How much? Still got 18 timber. I think we uh, get another family on that. There's no one on the ox currently, but I'm just not going to worry about that. Can I sell stuff? I don't know how trade works, to be honest. Trade rule is set to no trade. How do we change the trade rule? Surely it's a policy thing. Everything's locked in early access. Okay, maybe not. Trade logistics, maybe? Not sure. Maybe trading doesn't work yet.
as well keep things running fast build up all of this food how much storage does that have 50 46 I guess some of the storage is in there Ten planks, I'll let them make twenty planks. Clay deposit. Speaking of clay, firewood cart thingy, where's the mining? Oh, there we go, mining pit. Yeah. There we go, we got another family on the go. Excellent. Oops. Yeah, when it's saving, if you scroll too much or zoom in or anything, it does freak out a little bit. We need to do clothing, don't we, is the next thing, really. So I guess we're going to have to put down... And it stole my food and my wood. That's quite rude. I'm not sure how strong they are, whether I can send my army or my militia to go and fight them. I guess I just have to accept that it's going to happen from time to time. They stole firewood, that's what they stole. Speaking of... I kind of need someone on that, but I need to build... What I was trying to decide was, when it comes to farms, there's flax... Industry... That's clay. Malt hides into leather. Weaver. Wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. I guess leather is an obvious thing, but... Do we get leather from this? Or does it just produce food? Where is leather? Oh, there. 24 hides, so yes, we do. So I can make leather. I have no idea if they make that into anything, but we will give it a go. Uh, stick it down here. Eight months of supplies. Nine months of food, eight months, ten months of food. Great, so food's going up, not, no. Mostly it's the fruit, but I'm trying to get this l as low as I can before winter sets in. Um, really, I could do with another food source, couldn't I? Now, I kind of want to build a sheep farm, which I can build... But... What I was curious about was up here, sheep breeding is there. Oh, sheep grazing on the pastures slowly multiply. So I guess they don't breed unless you do that. 
Winter is approaching. So that was the next concern. New mercenaries available. I just got another family. I did. Excellent. New mercenary companies available. But I don't have any other weapons, so... Looks like I'm going to have... To 36? Is that a large shield? So I thought I only had 20. Oh, I can have a maximum of 36. And a maximum of 36 recruits. But I can hire mercenaries. I can hire the Battle Brothers. Story tells they lost a bet with their former liege in a brothel, leading them to abandon their former lives and joining them as fighters. They decided to stick this... They decided to stick to this life. Okay. And they will arrive in... Or Waldbrand. Or Wald, if we're being German about it. The Green Caps, which are a reformed band of outlaws, sporting fashionable green hats, for which they are known. <laughs> Robin Hood. <laughs> and Local Thugs, a small pack of local misfits and troublemakers. Okay, interesting. Generic storage full. Let me guess, that again, yes. Might be time to stick someone in the granary. To start storing food for the winner. When they finish this, I'm going to put a family on the woodcutter's lodge. So the 57, which is pretty decent. Church is good. We're doing on food over here. We're down to 20. It's November. I think we take one off there. Put one on here and try and get some leather out. I'm hoping the leather can be used for clothing. Not the... Oh, saving again. There we go. So... Just says making leather. It doesn't say you can make it into clothing. We do have some leather now. Oh, there we go. So they put up a clothing stall for leather. Fine. So that's kind of helping with the clothing stall thing. And these now have all of this stuff as well. Food stall and everything. Okay, great. So technically, this could upgrade. Level 2 Burgage Pot generates one regional wealth per family per month. Okay. Lots of alarms. I think that's because it's winter. So the alarm bells is going. And that's because this is vanished. Because it's seasonal. So we're going to take off one from there. And we're going to move them. Not necessarily onto there because that's kind of stable. We've got logging, we've got that as well. I think we still got them on stone. 
Oh no, we got some on. No, we don't. There we go. Stone. Someone on there. We got someone there. Someone there. Superb. And ten families now. That's actually all of the houses now with people in them. So we could actually... I think we do an upgrade here. Just because I want to see what an upgraded house is like. And then I think we also need to put down a couple of more burgage plots because we're going to need more houses. How about if we do one? Oh, that's quite a big one, is it? Okay. Can make them really weird shapes and sizes look. I kind of like that. I kind of like the fact you can have them really weird shapes and sizes because it just feels very natural. <laughs> I mean, obviously you don't want to really like triangular, acute angled strip of your garden, but it happens in real life sometimes. So, well, at least in England it does. Can't speak for the USA and stuff. <laughs> One hour 37 we've been recording. I'm pretty happy with uh, the game so far. Concerned about the snow. I mean, it is starting to settle on the ground. I'm hoping the buildings will also become snowy. Hang on. Yep, there we go. There's a little bit of snow on the buildings as well. I think they do get wet, by the way, because if you zoom in on this now, it doesn't look wet anymore. So the roofs do get wet. So, yeah, I appreciate the fact that, I mean, they're starting to get sort of shiny now, I think, because of the snow more than anything else. Now, hopefully, everyone doesn't die in the winter. We've got plenty of firewood. We're still making more firewood. We had the upgrade going on here, which is still going on, I think. Which is fine. We've got a new house going down there. Guess we just need to get through to the spring now. So let's fast forward. We've got plenty of food. Nine months of. We've got. No we've got 11 months of food. Nine months of fuel. That works for me. Still got the ten families. There's the snow. That does look nice doesn't it. On the buildings. I do appreciate that. Hang on. Let's slow it down. The bandits have stolen a bunch of... The bandits are quite annoying, can I just say? I would like to go and fuck them up, but I fear that I'd get a lot of my people killed, so I don't really want to do it right now. Um, I feel like I need a much bigger army with maybe some bows and arrows and stuff, if I can get them. Speaking of... Can we make bows and arrows? There isn't actually like a, a weapons. All the, the weaponsmiths were the artisans' at houses, weren't they? So I can make a. Enables production of war bows. Okay. So maybe that's how I get bows. And maybe I have to buy other stuff? Though I don't know how to get that working. We'll figure it out. Oh, I can build the herb garden now. Just don't want to waste the money on it. That's getting upgraded. I'm hoping that's going to give me some money. Even if it's just one, it's better than nothing. These guys have water. Yes, they do. Fuel stall supply? What do you mean? Not like when they imply they have no fuel.
There's plenty of fuel there. Speed things up again anyway, we might as well get it through to the new year. Thankfully the enemy AI doesn't expand. I assume they do if you uh, play on a higher difficulty or whatever. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I wanted to switch into my lord. I want to see if I can leave footprints in the snow. I don't. But it kind of sounds like I'm running in the snow. So I will take that. Footprints in the snow is probably a bit much. Snow is obviously a layer on top of the ground. Technically my guy is running through the ground at the moment. Technically, you would sink in the snow, of course, so it's not completely out of the realms of common sense. You'll not find finer wares oh, anywhere else. Safe. Impossible. Is that another stall selling firewood? Yes, it is. Multiple firewood stalls, food stall. Clothing, another food stall. Fair enough. Resources are looking good. We've got another house that's being built now. We're going to build more houses. Because... We just need to keep making houses so more people move here. We need more families. Got 30 people now, which is great. Can I just say, I really love the camera control. Look at this. I can look top down, completely top down. I can look at any angle I want all the way down the ground. So I'm really flat now. I can zoom in pretty darn close and zoom out all the way to the bigger map I just genuinely appreciate the fact I can zoom in and out and control the camera that much because some games really restrict the camera still um, so it's quite nice just to have the flexibility to do what you want with it so is this thing that I upgraded making me money now Oh, they want a tavern supply. And they want more types of clothing. And they want three types of food. And they want a small stone church. But they can now become... Oh, hello. Yes. They can make shoes. They can make joiners, wooden parts for shields can make sidearms and spears and tools oh, so there's a really okay so there's a really good reason to upgrade them then you get all of those bonuses so let's finish this these two hopefully we get some new people moving in and then maybe we can have someone start making bows for us and we can Set up a militia of bows. There is a help button. Building resource deposit upgrade military. Professional soldiers in service of the ruler. Bound to the region's mana. So I need to build a mana to get that. That's fine then. Militia. That's what we've already got. Mercenaries are people we hire. 
upgrades. Upgrade level 2, upgrade level 3. Small stone church. Okay, so there's actually a lot of detail about all this stuff. Fine. Oh, wait. What about the workshops, then? There we go. Boys workshop. So, and that was version of war bows. I guess I get a choice of what I want to build are the ones that have multiple. So, like... Armourers have options. Joiners can do multiple. Fine. Deposit resources. Buildings. Economy. Travelling merchants. I haven't seen any of those yet. The fact that she's got travelling merchants... And then description, and that's obviously not finished. Regional wealth. I still don't know how the trade post works. Maybe I need to build a horse. Work area is empty. Well, that's because the... There's no berries at the minute. Because it's winter. Well, there's plenty of food. How are we doing on the meat? 9 or 20, so that's kind of stabilised. If I build... If I upgrade two houses... Which I'm going to do by doing that one now, before I lose the ability. I think I get... Yeah. I get the next upgrade level. And that started going up. I'm on 52, so it does work. So there is reason to upgrade them. Fine. Watch me just wildly upgrade everything then. It only costs wood. So in that sense, it's worth doing. Hopefully, some more people start moving in again. Let's put it on fast speed. Let them go about their business. A new family moved in. Excellent. I will get bored of pressing that bell eventually. The one finished. How's the food looking over there? Still shrinking because it's still winter. I think we're going to have a bit of a weight on our hands. Building will go a little bit faster at the minute because we've got more families on the go. I've got plenty of timber. I've got plenty of planks as well. Let's build some more houses over here, shall we? Ooh, interesting. So... I have a bit of control here, depending about how big they are. So I can have that one at that side be that big. And just by dragging this around, I get a bit of control. So whatever I do here, at least one of them is big. I'm leaning towards that. There we go. That church is really going for it at the minute. I don't think anything in particular happened. Settlement level increased. There we go. So I can do another upgrade. I kind of want to do the... Hmm. 
Can't do the sheep grazing on pasture slowly multiply thing. Because then I don't have to buy any more. If that makes sense. So. New development. Po oh, I already spent it. Message after the fact. Let's build. That's a sheep farm, right? Sheep must first be imported by the livestock trader. Livestock isn't... Hmm. I'm going to put a family in here and see if it gives me more options. Nothing yet. Not sure how the trade thing works. I'd really like to put a sheep farm down. I mean, it doesn't really work right now because it's winter, so they have nothing to eat. Technically, I should put the sheep farm over here, I think. Hmm. Okay. So when you have a deposit for actual mining, you have to put the mine right on the deposit so for iron ore and clay you gotta do that that's fine next upgrade is five plots at level two or higher and i will have three or four four definitely have fuel yeah i've got loads of fuel I have no control in there. Maybe I need to order a horse. After placing an order, a livestock merchant will come to your town to deliver the animal. Orders can be placed once a month. Oh, wait, that says no trade, but I could trade it, surely. Export. Desired surplus. So if I have 50, my export price is that. Ah. <laughs> uh, don't get very much for it, do I? Is stone unlimited is the silly question I'm going to ask now. Stone deposit, 26. No, it's not. So I don't actually want to sell the stone. My bad. Scrap that. Ah. I wasn't expecting stone to be quite so... Uh, rare. <laughs> okay. Um... So once that's gone, I'm a bit stuffed for stone. Noted. Can I build that yet? Required settlement level small village. Current settlement is medium village. I think I can just build it. It has a little lock symbol on it, but I can just build it. Where should I build that? I guess here, where I've...
stick it down here. What just happened? Is that because I placed this? Welcome to the Castle Planner. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of your new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. Okay. Construction costs is this. Tax office. So I can build walls and gates. Garrison tower. I suppose it might as well we build it per se. Pop it there. Well, one of those. De oh, that put the price up a bit, didn't it? Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. Uh, tax office. Definitely want one of those down, don't we? Outer tower provides ten garrison space. Garrison units and villagers shoot projectiles at approaching enemies. These are walls and gates. Obviously this is going to get quite expensive, isn't it? Maybe I'm thinking too big here for the moment. I can always build it bigger later. This one I'm thinking to myself. Oh, that is expensive. And then an outer tower, which literally sits on the walls. I don't imagine we're going to get attacked per se, so. But it doesn't hurt to stick one on, does it? That would allow me to expand the walls even further. Can't commit because it costs too much. Alt and click. Alt and click. I'm going to reduce the cost of it. I need to make it 75. There we go. Commit. Bingo! So I can build my mana pretty early, I just didn't realise. I'm pleased about that then, because I wasn't sure. Conquering bandit camps will give us influence. I've hit two hours. I don't feel like I've achieved a huge amount, but I think it's just because I'm still learning the game, to be honest. That lady is just charging about with that ox. They're still doing upgrades down here. Which is fine. 
Vegetables. Oh, berries in this case. Still winter, so still not getting anything there. A bandit camp was sighted. I don't like the fact he keeps finding bandit camps. Where's this one? Right next to us. We might have to go and deal with that, you know. How many people are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's almost 20 there. I really want some archers before I go and attack them. I'm going to upgrade one of these to start making... Uh, I probably don't have enough resources to do it at the minute. So I've just spent a load on this. I can do it. Why can't I do it down there? Burgish plot level 2 low. Did that revert to level 1 for some reason? I think it did. I think it did reduce. I'm confused. I thought I upgraded this one or this one. Maybe I imagined it. We receive reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? We'll be ready. Track their movement. Prepare for the attack. Raiders near. Prepare for the attack. Another ruler's army was sighted. Are they actually going to attack us? I thought... Oh, there's an army at the back here, look. Oh, shit. Surely he doesn't mean those, because we weren't supposed to get attacked in this game mode until we were decided we were ready. Unless that was the option. And I just clicked the wrong thing. Not bad for just getting the hang of things, though. At least we've realised we can do the manor and everything and start collecting taxes. That'll help a lot. Construction finished. Level 1. Oh, that's this over here. Fine. Just trying to keep an eye on that army. As long as it stays there, that's fine. I'm just worried it's going to attack us. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the art design is completed, I think. Let's see. Yes, it is. Here we go. So. Thing is. They are now limited to what they can build. I need to build another storage thing. Can I upgrade the storehouse? I can. It costs 10 of that. So I could just... I think I'll just wait and... Upgrade that. Generic storage, 2005. 10 times the amount. Yeah, why wouldn't I upgrade it then? Makes total sense to upgrade it. What happened to that plot? Oh, it is actually finished. It just doesn't look finished. Makes more sense when you zoom in. So, are these guys now making bows? Real workplace. There we go. 
I'm assuming they're making bows. So technically I should be able to add an army and I should be able to add bows. Though I don't want them all to switch to that. Speaking of armies, what's my opponent doing? He is moving on to the next area. Hmm. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, berries, 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 berries. That is growing, so I should just let it continue growing. So if I start picking them now, it might not grow. One more of those to go. I'm hoping they're going to go and attack them. That's, looks like they're heading that way. Rather than attack me. Otherwise, it could be my untimely demise very early. Yeah, the bandits are going for them, look. They were broken very quickly. And now they're... Gonna make their way down this way, okay. being built. Oh, here we go. This is well on the way now. Look at that. It's ramped up massively. 76. Then we let them build that. Then we send someone over there. we still got firewood coming in, which is grand. We still have wood coming in. Also, have some soldiers from that, the retinue. So that'll be nice. I've got plenty of spare houses at the moment as well. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Thirteen level one families. How many houses do I have? Nineteen. That's fine, I've got 13, 14, 15, 16. So we're okay. For now, at least. Okay, we're getting close to the full 19, actually, so... Okay. Where's that army at? Yeah, they're going they're going to clearing out all the bandits. Maybe I should be grateful. Maybe they'll stop looting me. Slightly concerned they're gonna come straight for me afterwards though. I still don't have any bows made. Is he making bows? Destroy the bandit camps. He's just going around killing the bandits, I think. I guess that's helpful in one sense. Does that mean I can raid the bandit camps? This work area is empty. There's two families in there.
Oh wow, that's nearly full actually, so we can get a couple of people on that. How's the meat going? 10 to 20, that's still okay. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm just wondering if I'm being a bit slow, or the game's just slow to get going properly. So I'm not exactly blasting through it. I think it's just going to take a bit of experimentation at this stage. Generic storage, log storage. That's always empty. You can't control what gets stored here. Okay. person's army has vanished now good so I don't have to worry about it anymore good stuff a new family That's 18, so we actually need more houses. Again. I think we'll put down a road and just slow things down a minute. Along here. Looks like someone's been walking along there anyway. Okay, and then a couple more houses. It's going us a lot of houses, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks for me. Looks like there's slightly less space than these ones, but I don't suppose it matters really. This is taking a lot of building. Can I upgrade that yet? No. I will call this video when they finish the manor house. Have you marked the joists for the rafters already? I like the fact that these weird little comments coming out from whatever they're doing. Oh, they managed to build the gates, look. I guess the idea is that eventually you could make a castle bit big enough that you could encompass your whole village. Although that sounds expensive. I 
I do need to think about a farm. I think we stick a field down over here. Did it say a good size for a farm is one Morgan? Which is that. Oh, oh, farming. Farmers employs families who work on the fields, workforce are distributed, proportionally in accordance with the fields at set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients in the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility, thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing the crop types, or even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. Okay, I kind of remember this, and it's been in other games as well, so... Let's plant wheat. Which is pretty good, 56%. And we can enable crop rotation. We build a farmhouse, which we will turn this way here. There we go. I kind of just want to stick it back here out of the way for now. I might move it later. That is going to take a while to plow. But I just like to get some flour on the go. Windmill works most efficient on empty land unobscured by buildings or trees. So 95%, 96%. Let's Guess five. I'm gonna get much better than ninety odd here because there's ninety eight over there. I think he is better though. Although when that's built, is it gonna change my oh no, because it's ninety eight there next to that thing, so Go with that. Oh, look, this is all finished now. So, taxation is here. So, click on taxes tab after selecting your mana and set the taxation levels. Taxes. Land tax. Approval loss minus six. Five per cent. That seems fair, and it's only going to knock us down by three. Fine. This can also be... also offers storage, which is nice. People. Although well, two families in here as well, so two families live there, okay. Well, there you go. I didn't know that. So technically, do I have... I do have a retinue look. Five. Ready to rally. Equipment missing. I have some bows now, so I can have some archers. Awesome.
Do I have to have a full 36? Really? Seems a bit harsh. Hmm. Well, that's constructed anyway. So I now have some military force. Maybe I can go over here and take this out. I've got 250 influence now as well. And I think at 2 hours 21, we call this video here. But well, there is my first impressions of the game, which is pretty good so far. A little bit slow to get going. But some of these games are, and that could also just be the fact that I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just working out as I go. I don't think there's a proper tutorial. Um, it certainly wasn't advertised in the main menu or anything that I noticed. But there it is. Thank you very much for joining me. Very much looking forward to seeing what everyone else thinks as well. But enjoying it a lot so far. Let me know in the comments whether you like the look of it or not. Is it what you expected? It's pretty much what I expected, bearing in mind that it's going to be an early access release. The game is not finished. I think this is going to be the big thing, is this is coming out in early access. It is not finished. There's a lot of features not done. And I think a lot of people who are wishlisting this and very excited for it are expecting a finished game. I, I just have this feeling. And they're going to be very uh, surprised that there's stuff missing. But so far so good in my opinion. I'm looking forward to picking this game up. But I will call it there for today. Thank you very much for joining me everyone. I'll see you all soon.